Our life groups are a significant part of our ministry, and we definitely want you to connect with us on a life group. If you're not in a life group, find out how you can do that. Go over to our church website, myfathershouseicdc.com, and subscribe to join a life group. Family Life Group is a uh, ministry where discipleship begins, as I said, where you start connecting with other believers <clears throat> like yourself and that you uh, blend with them in a Bible study lesson that is powerful, already written out, has the anointing of God on it, and we teach and coach leaders yes. how to be leaders among leaders. That's Amen. what we do. We equip the body of Christ to do the work of the ministry. Yes. So we're very excited about connecting with you on today. This is First Fruits of Pentecost Sunday. Hallelujah. This is the first Sunday in June. We always encourage those who are connected with our ministry Amen. to sow First Fruits on January in June. Yes. No, it's not part of the law. No, we're not trying to keep the law. But it's about honoring the Lord with our increase. That's right. He has been good to you. And he's been good to us. Yes. And what we do, what we found in our ministry, is that as people follow us, as we follow Christ, they are blessed. Now, I'm here to tell you. Come on. I, I, I've been at this thing for a couple of days. <laughs> I'm not new to it, and I'm definitely true to it. Yes, you are. I have yet to see. Now, listen to me close. Don't turn it off. Don't turn it No, no, no. Don't you turn it off. You stay right here. Listen. <laughs> I have yet to see anyone mm -hmm. who follows us as we follow Christ and not be blessed of mm -hmm. the Lord. I have yet to see it. Mm -hmm. I have yet to see it. I have seen some come and go. Some go up and some go down and some go up. I've seen all that. And some come but, back. And some come <laughs> back. I've had some come back and literally repent to me. So into our lives financially because they recognize that they were not making the right decision mm -hmm. as they left and did what they wanted to do. And we receive them Amen. graciously. We don't, we don't trip like that. Richardson's mm -hmm. don't trip like that. God is our sustainer. He's our provider. But what we have learned in the principles of the kingdom, and we're going to talk about this a little more today, is that we have learned that through, it's through our giving is our living, That's and our living is our giving. Our giving. Yes. It's a principle that Hashem has brought to us uh, had to open my eyes to it because years ago I was I was blind I couldn't see it I'm gonna be honest with you and uh, but the Lord helped me to understand Richardson you are a vortex you are a portal you are a gateway That's right. that I've given you watch it I've given you a message of regeneration well you say well what is that the message of regeneration has to do with not just getting you to heaven well I hope you hear me I'm preaching yes, already look yes, yes. not just getting you to heaven because if God just wanted to get you to heaven, he would have saved you, took you home, That's got right. you out of this old messy world. That's not the purpose. But regeneration has to do with salvation, mm -hmm. listen to me close, justification, sanctification, and deliverance. Right. Four aspects. You don't hear that from most ministries. They don't tell you nothing about it. You never, some of you probably never even heard. So what in the world is he talking about? <laughs> Look it up. Go back and search the scriptures and you'll see mm -hmm. what I'm talking to you about. So what does that have to do mm -hmm. with? That has to do with the shalom of God, oh, yeah. the wholeness of God. Mm -hmm. And that's what we do. We teach a full gospel message. Yes, we yes. preach from Genesis through Revelation, the precepts and the understanding. Listen to me close mm -hmm. from a mystical understanding. It is no way. I want you to look that word up mystical as well. Mystical. Oh, he's mystical. Yeah, we, we don't do mystical. Yes, you do. There's no, there's no way that you can say that you believe in God who you have never seen. You can't prove that it exists scientifically or anything else, but you believe in him, and therefore you are mystical in your approach to a God that is invisible. And so when you understand the ministry and the weight of ministry that God has mm -hmm. given us mm -hmm. as an apostolic prophetic voice in the land, mm -hmm. you'll understand the depths in which we teach him. And so in the understanding of God, and as he has opened our understanding, he's helping us to help other people. That as you follow us, as we follow Christ, and the Lord begins you, to give you an understanding that this thing is more than flesh and blood. Come on. Ah, yeah. He said the, king, uh, the flesh and blood will not inherit the kingdom of yes. God. But this thing is a spiritual oh, dimension. It is a dynamic understanding of the invisible God, mm. the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that will help you to have your eyes open. open yeah. There's a prophet in the Old Testament named Balaam. 
and he was hired of Balak to curse the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. And he was a man of God after God's own heart. He said, I can't do nothing except mm -hmm. I inquire of the Lord. Some yes. call him a false prophet. He's not a false prophet, misguided prophet. But through his exchange with Hashem, listen to me, somebody, prophet, listen to me. When he came to the Lord, mm -hmm. though his eyes were closed and he wanted to do all he could because he wanted the riches of Balak. Mm -hmm. Listen to me. He had to have his eyes open. The Lord told him, you go, and the only thing you will speak, Balaam, is what I put in your mouth. Mm, glory to God. And as the prophet began to converse or exchange, have commerce with Hashem, with Elohim, the prophet came back and he made this statement. I want you to read it in Numbers, the 22nd chapter. He said, I am one whose eyes have been opened. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, <laughs> glory. Yes. Hallelujah. See, 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 many of us are asleep. Many of us are, are wanting to walk in the deep things of God, but you still want to wade in the shallow waters. It's one or the other. If you want to swim, you want to get into the deeper things of God, you've come to the right place. That's right. It's called My Father's House, International Christian Discipleship Center. That's it. Where people are empowered to do the will of God. God bless yes. you. I'll be back. She bring me back, and I'll talk to you soon. Amen. Today is the first Sunday of June, and so as we normally do on first Sunday is we participate and we uh, take the Lord's communion. Uh, Pastor and I, we have ours, and so while we're going through this uh, part of worship, you can go and get your, your sacraments. You can go and get, if you don't have anything like this, go and grab you some juice. Grab you some crackers, and so we can take that together on today before the word comes. As you're coming on, we're welcoming you. We thank God for, for you, and we just salute you in the name of Jesus. We're welcoming you from our home to your home, wherever you are, in the living room, great room, bedroom, wherever. We greet you in the strong name of Jesus, whether you're on the East Coast. Hi, Jasmine. God bless you, my daughter or you're on the West Coast, wherever you are, we thank God for you. And we appreciate this social platform, social media, which allows us to go into the living rooms of many homes, not just here in Colorado, but even across the waters. We thank God for our spiritual sons and daughter, Apostle Allen and his precious bride, Violet, and uh, all of those who tune in on a regular we're wanting you to tune in with us every Sunday at 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time on Wednesday at 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And throughout the week, we're wanting you to be connected with a family life group. My family life group meets on Tuesday evenings at 630. And we are growing. We're growing in numbers and we're growing spiritually. We're being empowered to do what God has called us to do. And so we just thank you. As you're coming on, go to the chat. Let us know um, who you are. Just say hello. God bless you. If you have any prayer requests, any prayer needs or praise reports, put them in the chat. Because we are praying all during the broadcast and even beyond. Because we care about you. We love you and appreciate you so very much. Take a moment right now as I'm talking. We're going to go to the word of the Lord. But as I'm talking, we're wanting you to copy this link and we're wanting you to share it. So if you're not a subscriber, we're wanting you to subscribe to this channel so that we can continue to carry out the word and this uh, assignment that God has given us. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. So we're going to go to Isaiah 48. And then we're going to pray. We're going to pray. What is it that you're seeking God for? What is it that you have need of? We all have need of something. And we're always uh, asking. But you know what? While we're asking, we're wanting to remember to beseech our God. Just to love on him. Just to appreciate him. He already knows what things that you stand in need of before you even utter a word. <clears throat> Amen. And so as you begin just to beseech him and bless his holy name. You know what? Before you can even ask him for stuff, it's done. And so we just decree the blessings upon, upon you, upon your house. So Isaiah 40, 48, <clears throat> and then we're going to uh, read just a few scriptures here, starting at 16 and uh, 16 through 19. Isaiah 48, 16 
through 19. It says, Come ye near unto me, hear ye this. I have not spoken in secret from the beginning, from the time that it was, there am I. <laughs> and now the Lord God and his spirit hath sent me. Thus saith the Lord, thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I am the Lord thy God, which teacheth thee to profit, yeah. which leadeth thee by the way that thou shouldest Hallelujah. go. All that thou hast hearkened to my commandments, my sister, sister. then had thy peace been as a river, and thy righteousness as the waves of the sea. Thy seed also had been as the sand and the offspring of thy bowels, like the gravel thereof. His name should not have been cut off nor destroyed from before me. Hallelujah. I'll read on down. We'll complete this chapter. Verse 20. Go ye forth of Babylon. Flee ye from the Chaldeans with the voice of singing. Declare ye. Tell this, utter it even to the end of the earth. Say ye, the Lord hath redeemed his servant Jacob, and they thirst not. When he led them through the deserts, he caused the waters to flow out of the rock for them. He clave the rock also, and the waters gushed out. There is no peace, saith the Lord, unto the wicked. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and activation of his word. Father, we just praise you. We thank you for your loving kindness, your tender, loving mercies. Great is thy faithfulness unto you. All that we have needed, your hands have provided. Mm. And we just bless you, great God. We thank you, Lord, for the air that we breathe. We thank you, oh God, for, for everything that you do for us, Lord, that we may take for granted. But God, we just bless you and we surrender our lives to you totally and completely. We yield our hearts, our minds, our very being unto you. Have your way, Yahweh, on today. God, incline our ears, Lord, to hear what you are saying to us, the church, this earthen vessel. Those who name the name of Christ and have surrendered and said, yes, I'll go with you, Father. I'll go with you to the ends of the earth. God, keep that yes down in our hearts. Keep that yes down in our spirit, man. That when we awaken, that, Father, we'll arise to do your will, to do what you've called us to do. We bless you and honor you and surrender our very lives to you. There is no God like you. There is no God like you. The one who saves, the one who sets free, the one who delivers. We thank you that you are all in an all-encompassing God. You are a doctor in the sick room. You are a lawyer in the courtroom. God, you know how to advocate for us. And we thank you for your Holy Ghost that comes alongside to help us to walk upright before you, to help us live right, to do right, to speak right, to be right. We just thank you, Lord, for all that you are. And I thank you, Lord, for every listener. Thank you for every supporter of the ministry, those that are wanting to be a true disciple of you. Father, abide in them. And you, O oh God, abide in us so that we can walk worthy of the vocation that you've called us into. I pray that you begin to stir up the gifting in, in the people of God in this hour, in the now. That, Lord, they would no longer just sit on the sidelines or they would, they would no longer be complacent, lackadaisical. But that, God, you would put running in their feet, clapping in their hands. And the ability to go and to do what you called them to do in this hour. So that, God, our families, our homes, those that we come in contact, that their lives will be changed and transformed in the mighty, matchless, and majestic name of Yeshua the Christ, we give you praise, honor, and glory. And they all said, Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to his holy name. He is worthy. He is worthy. He is worthy. Glory, glory. Praise you, Father. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you haven't done it yet, we're wanting you to go ahead and to like, subscribe, and share. And we're wanting you to invite somebody. To invite somebody. Hallelujah. He's worthy of it. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. We're wanting him to fill us do you up. Have a, do you have a connection? To let, it, to let it overflow. I believe so. I'm checking now. Hallelujah. Very good. Very good. Let's start that again. Thank you, Lord. There you go. Awesome. Sing the song, baby.
Let this song minister to you. 